Hi, I'm Michael Washington, and um, I'm here to show um, the Blazor Store Finder application, which is actually part of a, well, it's covered in a new book that's uh, coming out with Syncfusion called um, Azure Maps Using Blazor Succinctly. Um, so basically, here's the actual application. Uh, let me go back to yeah Chrome here. So essentially what the application is, it's a standard store finder. So here if I'm showing San Diego, you know, you kind of see San Diego on the map. You can kind of, you know, zoom in, zoom out. And if I were to say go to Los Angeles, it's going to show me, you know, Los Angeles right here in the middle, but it also shows me um, store locations that are around there. And the way these store locations are uh, configured is in administration here. Um, all the locations can be added and then they're automatically geocoded. And all this uses um, the Microsoft Azure Maps services. So the way the geocoding works is, let's say I want to geocode the uh, Washington, um, the White House in Washington. I would just say add, I would say the White House and I could put the address in. And when I hit save, it's automatically geocoded to get the latitude and longitude uh, through the Azure map services. So then when I go back to the store finder, if I were to go to Washington DC, then it's basically going to show a um, a red uh, marker at the center of Washington, D.C., but you also see that uh, the White House is also represented uh, on the map. <clears throat> so this is essentially uh, creating this entire application from start to finish, every single line of code. That's what's covered in uh, the map, uh, in the, the book, uh, Azure Maps Using Blazor Succinctly. And just to kind of show you the contents, <clears throat> Um, I have chapters on getting started with Azure Maps, um, displaying Azure Maps uh, in Blazor, um, and something that's kind of, I think, important on how, um, on what I cover in the book, is that I show how to set the authentication in a safe way. Uh, so, for example, uh, many samples that you'll see will use uh, this thing here where they'll say, okay, you can put a latitude and longitude, and then you need to supply a subscription key. Well, the problem is, is that um, people can grab that subscription key and they can use it and you would be charged. So I show how to do proper security, where for example, when I uh, get a token, um, I make a server side call to, um, like using code like this to get an access token. That access token is then passed to the Azure Maps services. Um, of course, you see here I'm passing the latitude longitude and that's how I'm able to get, you know, say the map tiles and you see how the map tiles uh, show. However, a person cannot um, get the subscription key. The only thing they would get access to is and let me just close, show this real quick here is in the page um they would be able to get uh access to the access token however this access token is short-lived so and they cannot generate this access token themselves because they don't they can't get to your uh server side um, code so that's something that um, is covered in the book and then, of course, the book then covers, you know, creating the application and basically I go through every step, you know, installing SQL Server, if you don't already have it, um, all the steps, of course, to uh, add the Syncfusion uh, libraries. Um, and, and then, of course, you know, going into Visual Studio and, you know, these are the database scripts here that is covering. Um, and then, of course, you know, creating all the code needed. So that's, yeah, pretty much uh, what um, this is uh, covering. And um, it's 
the goal of this is to, of course, um, introduce, um, you know, the readers into uh, using uh, Azure Maps, using Scene Fusion to easily create, you know, professional looking, uh, you know, user interface, um, and also, of course, using Microsoft Blazor. And that's it.